Yeah, of course. Checkmate 649 is a study uh, that uh, led to the FDA approval and approval of uh, nivolumab globally in more than 50 regions worldwide uh, in combination with chemotherapy in first-line setting in a metastatic gastric esophageal and gastroesophageal adenocarcinoma. So nivolumab is a checkpoint inhibitor. Uh, it helps uh, uh, patients with metastatic disease live longer when we combine this treatment in combination with full fox um, chemotherapy, which is the standard treatment in our disease. So Checkmate 649 was the first study of its kind to combine esophageal, gastric, and gastroesophageal adenocarcinoma um, patients together. And uh, this was a large study that patients were randomized irrespective of pdl one status of their tumor to receive either chemotherapy or chemotherapy plus nivolumab. Uh, the primary outcomes of the study was to look at both progression-free survival and overall survival in biomarker selected population, uh, looking at patients with tumors with a relatively uh, positive pdl one overexpression, uh, looking at the cutoff of CPS5 or greater. So uh, we've presented and published uh, several uh, analyses of this study, and uh, the, the first uh, one-year follow-up survival was presented and published at Lance, in Lancet, uh, which led to the approval of nivolumab, and most recently we also published a three-year follow-up from uh, the study in JCO. It's really great to be able to demonstrate that uh, there are long-term survivors with this regimen. Uh, in metastatic disease where patients historically would die within a year. So we were able to not only surpass the one year uh, benchmark for median overall survival, but also demonstrate long-term survivors uh, in, uh, in about 15% uh, of the population or even higher, depending on which cutoffs you look at uh, with combination of full Fox nivolumab. So the initial results demonstrated improvement in uh, the median overall survival and uh, the, it was statistically significant in progression-free survival and response rate. Um, the hazard ratio was uh, close to 0.7. Uh, and that basically over time uh, sustained the difference that uh, favoring nivolumab. So uh, over time, we're, we look closely at the shape and the separation of the survival curves and what we hope to see is sustained separation of the survival curves with a plateau and improvement in long-term survivors uh, with nivolumab or your intervention, uh, whichever uh, trial you're looking at. And with Checkmate 649, we saw that. We saw sustained separation of the survival curve, uh, plateau, and improvement in overall um, and progression-free survival long-term in these patients. Um, of course, so uh, nivolumab has been studied across different solid tumors and lung uh, cancer, kidney cancer, um, melanoma, of course, where it uh, all started. Uh, and in esophageal cancer, uh, full fox nivolumab, the checkmate 649, uh, it was really the first study to show benefit in adenocarcinoma and metastatic disease. Of course, there's also checkmate 577, uh, which is a study that looked in uh, adjuvant, so postoperative nivolumab in high risk esophageal adenocarcinoma and squamous cell cancer. Um, and there's also uh, Checkmate 648, which looked at nivolumab in combination with chemotherapy and or uh, CTLA-4 inhibitor epilumumab in squamous cell cancer. Uh, so squamous cell cancer is uh, relatively rare in the United States now, but it's still worldwide is very common esophageal type of cancer. Um, and so nivolumab also improves survival in that population. Uh, absolutely. And the big population of patients that we're missing, uh, uh, you know, approval for is patients who have not been previously treated and who have early stage or uh, resectable uh, tumors, so non-metastatic cancers. Nivolumab uh, does help outcome in adjuvant setting, so after chemoradiation and surgery. Uh, but we are now really keen on bringing this uh, regimen not necessarily specifically in Ebola, but anti-PD-1 therapy in general, uh, to a new adjuvant perioperative setting, preclinically and also, you know, in other clinical uh, setting in solid tumors, 
We know that giving chemotherapy and potential chemotherapy with immunotherapy before surgery um, really uh, helps patients uh, do better uh, potentially uh, because you're able to expand the anti-tumor T-cell response while the primary tumor is still in place. Um, and so from that perspective, uh, we're really keen on bringing uh, immunotherapy checkpoint inhibitors to early stage uh, perioperative setting. For Checkmate 649, of course, there's going to be a four-year follow-up that's presented, uh, going to be presented at ASCO. It's nice to be able to see that. Um, so, and, you know, it's a group effort. A lot of uh, investigators participated in this. Uh, so, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's amazing to be able to give um, my collaborators and colleagues an opportunity to also present this data. So a uh, four-year follow-up will be presented at ASCO.